Hello and welcome to What the Hell Happened to Hockey? or How to Save Our Season. Well, to answer these questions, we must start at the beginning. 1875, James Crichton of Halifax, after experimenting with a twig and some frozen cow patties, puts together the first organized game of hockey. It ends when they lose the puck. Despite this, its popularity grows until 1892, when a decorative bowl is purchased by Sir Frederick Arthur Stanley for 10 guineas, about 42 bucks. Already, hockey is starting to be all about the money. They call this cup Stanley. The first winners of this Stanley Cup were the Montreal AAA. They were paid nothing, a trend which continues for five more minutes, or until 1917 when the NHL is born. With only six teams, Canadians were able to watch Toronto play Montreal 38 times a season, and watch they did. Decade after decade, hockey became more popular and more profitable. Teams making money, players making money. Hockey just wasn't good, it was great. But then great got traded to Hollywood. And people got some funny ideas. People thought hockey could be even bigger in America. And the only thing needed to make hockey real big in America was a real big American. Hi, Gary. And Gary thought the solution was obvious. You simply take hockey out of the cold places like Quebec, Winnipeg, and Minnesota, and put hockey into cool places like Carolina, Tampa Bay, and Nashville. Go, Gary! And while people in Quebec, Winnipeg, and Minnesota were outraged, people in Carolina, Tampa, and Nashville never even noticed. Hockey remained less popular in America than bull riding and women's bowling. Which brings us to 2002. The league has combined losses of $229 million. Because it turns out that people who live in the desert don't like watching hockey. They'd rather shoot rats at the dump. So, in 2004, Gary announced if the teams couldn't make money, the players couldn't make money. They would be locked out until they all agreed to put a ceiling on how much money they could make. So now, Gary's not budging, and the players aren't budging, and the children are crying. So, what do we do now? We go back to the beginning. Go out and buy your own decorative bowl. Maximum $42. It may have to be plastic. Find a frozen pond. Get a stick and a puck. Write your kid's name on the bowl with a Sharpie and invite some friends. Play fair, play hard, just don't invite Gary. And that's what happened to hockey and how to save our season.